Welcome to Zotero, writing with Google Docs. There are three main ways to add citations to Google Docs from Zotero. Drag and drop. This quickly adds citations and bibliographies to any document. There's no persistent connection to Zotero, so it can't help you manage any changes, but it's a great way of getting started or with shorter papers. You can copy and paste bibliographies. This quickly makes a bibliography in various citation styles. There's no persistent connection to Zotero, but it's a great way to make an annotated bibliography or you can use the toolbar. This adds citations and bibliographies to any document, and it automatically manages and updates those citations and bibliographies using Zotero. Let's get started on writing your paper without the toolbar. To do this, you're first going to have to set up your preferences for your default citation style. On a Mac, go to the Zotero menu and click Preferences. On a Windows machine, go to the Edit menu and click Preferences. Then go to the Export tab, and select your default citation style. In this case, I have chosen the Chicago Manual of Style, 17th edition, which is a footnoted style. Over in Google Docs, I have a sentence that needs a citation. So I'll get started by adding a footnote. Then, over in Zotero, I'll highlight the item I want to cite, hold down the Shift key, and then drag the item into my document. Often, Google Docs is going to put this into your regular text. That's okay, just highlight it, cut the text, and then paste it into your footnote. It is in the proper footnoted style. When I'm all done with my paper, I can create a bibliography. I'll give it a title, and then over in Zotero, I'll simply drag the item over. No holding down the shift T, just straight drag, and now it's in the bibliography style. Another way to create a standalone bibliography, get rid of these for a second, is to give it a title. And then, over in Zotero, I can select one or more items. To select more than one item, you can hold down the Control or Command key, select the various items you want, and then right-click and say Create Bibliography from Items. Here you can choose whatever citation style you want, you can select that you want it to be in the form of a bibliography, and then you'll probably want to copy to the clipboard. Click OK, and then over in your document, or your email, or whatever you want, paste your items. There's your bibliography. Now, there's no way that this will be 100% correct every single time. No computer program could do that. So you'll want to go through and check the citation style to make sure that it did everything correctly. But at this point, you can simply start typing an annotation, for example. Now let's look at writing your paper with the toolbar. This will help you manage your citations and is really good for longer papers. In Zotero, I would put my cursor where I want a citation to go. Then I'll use the Zotero menu that got added when I added the Zotero connector. If you don't have the Zotero connector on your browser yet, you can go to zotero.org download to download it. Here I'll click Add Edit Citation. The first time you do this, you'll have to give Zotero and Google Docs permission to talk to each other. If you have multiple Google accounts, be sure you're using the account that's associated with this particular document. Now I can search for the title or the author of the document I want to cite. And here is the item I want to cite, so I click on it. I know that the information I found came from page 3, so I'm going to click into this and then enter 3. Hit enter, hit enter once more, and it will add it then as a footnote, because this is a footnoted style, to my Google Doc. When I'm all done writing my paper, I can create a bibliography. Simply give it a title, and then go to Zotero, and then add edit bibliography. Zotero will go through all your footnotes and create a bibliography entry for each one. Now again, there's no way that Zotero or any other program will be able to get all these citations 100% correct, so you'll have to check them. But do not type inside of the citations that it generated for you. This could end up corrupting your programs. Instead, you'll have to go back to Zotero and make your edits there. Let's say that I don't need this exclamation point at the end of the sentence. 
back in your document then. Go to Zotero and refresh. All the changes will be made. If there are some changes that you can't make the programs do for you, wait until you're completely done writing your paper, save a copy, and then go up to Zotero and unlink citations. Go back to your Google Doc and say that yes, you want to unlink your citations. And now these are just plain text and you can type in them to your heart's content. Or add an annotation. And as always, if questions come up, feel free to contact us. We're here to help.